Move, move. You're in my space. You're in my space, man. Just go. Just go somewhere. Just go somewhere. All right, comic nerds. Um, we just got some crazy news. Uh, well, actually, it's old news, but it's news news. So in case you guys don't know, uh, Peter Parker is coming back uh, to uh, the Marvel Universe. You know, I don't know if you guys know, but Dr. Waddle Octavius had taken over Peter Parker's body and became Spider-Man in his place. But he wasn't going to be a regular Spider-Man. He was going to be a superior Spider-Man, right? I'm pretty sure you guys know the story. If you don't know the story, you need to check it out. It's one of the best books of 2013. Hold on a second. Um, uh, what are you doing, daughter? Come here. Come here for a second. I want, all right. I want you to tell the crowd. Okay. Who would you rather... Dr. Otto Octavius or Peter Parker to be uh, Spider-Man? You have to say Dr. Otto Octavius. Ah. Say Doc Ock. Say Ock. Ah. Yeah, yeah, see? Dr. Otto Octavius. Anyway, so Dr. Otto Octavius is Spider-Man right now, and Peter Parker is supposedly dead. So, um, you know, now he's coming back. And he's coming back on what, April 1st. Now, now at first, I thought this was going to be one of those April Fool's jokes. You know, it's April 1st, April Fool's. Stop playing with my mind, son, because Peter Parker's whack. Superior Spider-Man is awesome. Dr. Mato Octavia is the man. He's Spock. He's Spock. Spider-Man, ah, Spock. That's what we call him, right? So no, it's not going to be a joke. In fact, they had planned this from the very beginning, knowing that a new movie was coming out this year. So they had planned it for a whole year for him to actually come back and for it be like a super surprise because the movie's coming out. Now, this is the thing. I don't mind if, you know, Peter Parker comes back and, you know, you know, they have fun with it or something, but I don't want them to do the same thing as they always did. It's like Peter Parker comes back, now he's trying to pay his bills, now he's a bitch again, now he's crying about Mary Jane, love me, love me, you know, John Jameson bitching him around again. I don't want that old Peter Parker. But Dan Slott did give me some good news. He did say it will not go back to square one. That it would be a continuing going forward with Peter Parker, so his life will not go back to like just Mary Jane and Aunt May and all the other bitch assness that is Peter Parker. Because let's be honest, he's awesome as Spider-Man, but he's a bitch at Peter Parker. That's why they changed him to Doc Ock. All right, uh, anyway, uh, anyway, yeah. This, this is Mason AJ, the real deal, coming at you one time. Ah, uh, to go against what he was saying. Whoa. Okay, here's what I believe. I was the biggest Peter Parker fan. He was up there to me. He was the best superhero besides Captain America. But I kind of feel how this is gonna happen. They, they're gonna, he's gonna come back, and the new, they're not gonna go back to square one. It's gonna be like, oh, because he's made money, and because he's made new friends, and made old friends enemies, and Black Cat doesn't like him, and people respect him now, and do that whole crazy thing. So now Peter Parker is gonna be more focused on, like, now this is a new world for Peter Parker, but he's still gonna be the same guy. I want Peter Parker to come back traumatized. Like, I'm gonna be like... Okay, look, look, look. All right, he ain't coming back traumatized. No, if he comes back and he was like, I was dead, I was gone, the world moved off without me. I mean, let's just be honest. Like, like, the, no, I see they're gonna, they gonna bring him back. He never really left in the first place. The whole transfer thing is like, you can't get rid of somebody's consciousness. That don't even make sense. So he's gonna always have been there saying, I had been watching you. Even when you thought you had won, I was still there watching the situation and now I'm back, bitches. And here I go, Peter Parker, Back on the scene, Doc Ock, you dead, bitch. And, and, and you know what? You know what? He's gonna be like, oh, Steve Rogers, please let me back to the Avengers. <laughs> Steve Rogers? No, no. Captain America! No, no, he's not, no. He's not gonna be calling on Steve Rogers. What I do think they might do, though, is combine the consciousness. I think they might pull something where they, like, take uh, Peter Parker and take Spider-Man, and I mean, and take Doc Ock and, like, do this thing. And that feels like such a cop-out. No, but now think about it, though. We love Doc Ock, what he's done, but at the same time, though, Peter Parker is still Peter Parker. You so I think if they combine it, you, you can have the best you of You know what? Worlds. It's like you take Doc Octopus and you take Peter Parker and you combine them together and now it's... Dark Parker. <laughs> you know, there ain't gonna be no Doc. Well, you know, yeah, Doc I, Parker. I ain't taking this. I now have my doctrine, son. I got my doctrine. <laughs> I got my doctrine. <laughs> yeah, it's my one shot. It's my one shot. It's mine, not yours. But put it down in the comments below. What you guys think? You guys want Doc? Or you want Peter Parker? Just want the Spock? Got the nerdy Spider Man? I don't know. You tell me what you got going on, what you think. Um, put it in the comments below once again. Um, also, check out our Facebook. I'll put it down in, um, you know, that command center thing down there that we got. Uh, so I'll put it down there. Check all of it. I'll also put it on the uh, link to the uh, comic uh, resources. Wait, what comic resources? Is that what it is, Mason AJ? I'm, I mean, you standing on the side. I don't know. It's in comic book resources where I, I read the, um, the article. So I'll put that in the comments below as well. 
So uh, you guys, uh, click on that, read it, tell me what you think, comment in the comments below. Comment, son. I need to know what you think about this because I'm mad, okay? And you guys did help me out with the Batman thing. I had a lot of good comments about that, so you guys kind of like gave me a good reason why he belongs on Justice League, but he still sucks compared to Superman. That's all I'm saying, son. So anyway, um, I'll see you guys later. Once again, this is uh, Excalibur with the aficionados, and you guys have an awesome time. Peace. I've done this like three times already. Like, this is like my third. Peter Parker! Peter Parker! <laughs> Coming up. <laughs> him to have taken all these things and not made him like, yo, I'm an adult now. I'm not dealing with that kid stuff no more. If I see a girl, I'm gonna go talk to that girl. I'm not gonna be no, like, he's oh. gonna go back after Mary Jane. Let's just be honest. No, he's no, gonna, he's going after Mary Jane. Probably he's going after Mary Jane. You know what? And if I was him, I'd just keep smashing Anna Maria, son. Cause that chick is hot. <laughs> Justice Lee, we need you. This is Batman. I've got your distress signal. I'm on my way. <laughs>